Hello, this is Carmel. Thank you for checking out this video. This video is going to be an Adobe Flash tutorial on how to make a start button. This will make you pop up to a street to the home screen where it'll stop and then go through to anywhere on the playlist or the frame timeline. The timeline, excuse me. It's a long time since I've been using Flash really. So then uh, this is going to be an, an Adobe Flash CS4. The only difference from CS3 is really going to be the uh, timeline is going to be down rather than up. But this can be changed. I'm going to do it down, however, because that's what I've gotten used to. Uh, the tool set is also going to be to the right. That's all you have to note and remember here. Now, uh, this tutorial is going to be on any, actually between beginner and intermediate level. Now, when you're in Adobe Flash, you may have this dialog box or not. If you have, go in Flash File, Action Script 2.0. If not, go in New, and Flash File, Action Script 2.0. Now, here's the screen. Now, we're going to edit the screen here a little. Um, in CS3, the options should be here. In CS4, they, sh they are here. Let's make the stage black. And let's make a little button. So let's make a the stroke with no stroke, and the fill is going to be red. So let's make a big rectangle here, and then we are going to let's just let's just draw something. I'm not really into the mood of taking the text, and making that try to look cool. So let's take the brush tool and just write play play me to so play me it says now then select everything on the stage and remember the black color is not a rectangle it's just the stage so this is all we have and go on F9 or go on is it control no, it's modify. Okay, now it's just stop responding. That's nice. Modify, convert to symbol, or F8. Now the name, we're going to call this play underscore BTN. And it's going to be a button. That's why I said BTN. The registration point can be anywhere. And go on OK. And now on OK, it says play me. You can now go inside the button and go on over we're going to go uh, 6 and on over we want this color to turn green and this color to and down we want it all to turn black actually for fun so let's select it all this is going to be the effect that it disappears here now then let's go out of the button this was just really to make it look more fancy so then now we're going to make a stop sign because usually it just plays but now we have to try to make it stop there and then when we click it it's going to go to another frame so we're going to go on F7 to make a blank new frame and here we're going to go on a little slow process just for fun so first we're going to make this F6 to make a frame that looks like it so this is going to be basically your movie you can go ahead and copy it into the uh, work you're doing if you want to just do what I do And yes, it it says banana. You're right. Now that was quick. And let's make a third one just to for fun re really. and just to make bad use of your time. Uh, so now it says yo and we have all this we want to make it stop so what we're going to do is right click this frame the first frame where we have the play button 
and we're going to say stop open parenthesis closing parenthesis no that was just a smiley face and a semicolon now with a semicolon is not good now going to stop let's go and control enter to preview and as you can see when it hovers over a JDS cutter when we press it it disappears but nothing really happens and we want it to go to frame 2 so what we want to do here is take the uh, what is it called selection tool or V tool just press V on your keyboard select the button and go on actions now here we're going to write in a bit of, a bit of code here so we're going to say on this is going to be when the button is released so on release close parenthesis and we're going to make a open curly bracket enter twice and a closing curly bracket now then we're going to go on go to uh, small g and small t go to and capital A and capital P play so now it says go to and play and open close parenthesis and inside the parenthesis we're going to say 2 so go to and play 2 I want to see something here yeah and you need a semicolon at the end so this is the code you need and what you do is now you close so let's go through control enter to preview and now we're going to click it and it says yo play me and it goes back now what we can do is we can go here and else we wanted to say go to and play without the on release because the frame cannot be clicked so go to and play frame 2 so this is going to be a loop the button just sets it into action play yo 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 <laughs> okay so thank you very much for watching this video guys this was FF Comp Help and uh, this video turned out to be a little longer than it should I just made a little fun with it and I certainly hope you enjoyed it too so thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe bye